One of the most asked questions on the ARB website regarding the ARB prescribed exams is this. How does fine art influence the quality of architectural design? In this video, I'm going to share three examples of how three of the most famous architects were influenced in fine arts in some of the most iconic buildings around the world. I'm also going to show you how to use this information in your submission by giving you an example from my own portfolio. Let's start by Frank Lloyd Wright and the Japanese Ukiyo-e. The modernist architecture movement of the 20th century was heavily influenced by fine arts, and this included the work of Frank Lloyd Wright. But Frank had another non-architectural passion uh, that set him aside from his mentor Louis Sullivan and the rest of his peers, and that is Japanese art. Wright got into Japanese woodblock prints in his early 20s, and within a few years, he became famous worldwide for collecting them. He admired the work of Katsushika Hokusai, a Japanese print artist. Hokusai's sketches showed how simple shapes could create complex living forms. Wright used this idea for his organic architectural plans, which was a new concept because most plants at the time relied on axes and grids. Another of his favorite woodblock print artists, Ando Hiroshige, often employed foreground vegetation to frame the main subjects of his prints. Wright used the same device in many of his perspective renderings of his own buildings. Wright applied a comparable strategy in creating his abstract art glass windows for his houses. Instead of using regular clear glass, he incorporated intricate patterns into the glass itself, blurring the boundary between the view outside the window and its frame. This approach aimed to soften the usual rigid division between indoor and outdoor spaces, conveying a sense of harmony between buildings and the natural environment. The goal of unifying the built and the natural had been shared previously by Wright's mentor, Louis Sullivan, but it had never been realized. In works such as Falling Water, Wright made this a reality. Art Nouveau and Gaudi. Anthony Gaudi is a pioneering figure of Art Nouveau and Modernism. And the Catalan architect is mostly known for his intricate buildings all over Barcelona. And works such as La Sagrada Familia is one of the most popular and most visited buildings around Europe. The Art Nouveau movement is a highly decorative and ornamental style inspired by natural forms such as flowers and plants. The influence of Art Nouveau on the Sagrada Familia is evident in the basilica's organic and nature-inspired design. Curvilinear and ornate decorations, extensive use of stained glass, incorporation of symbolism and mythological themes, and the spirit of artistic collaboration. Gaudi worked with many artists and craftsmen to turn his vision into reality, and this shows how Art Nouveau had a big emphasis on craftsmanship and also combining different forms of art into architecture. The constructivism and Zaha Hadid. The constructivism emerged in 1988 um, through an exhibition in the Museum of Modern Arts in New York. And the, the idea of the constructivism was to completely reject uh, the rationality, the, the ordered rationality of uh, modernism and postmodernism. It draws its influence from analytical cubism, dissecting forms and presenting them from different angles simultaneously. The constructivism, unlike Art Nouveau, is characterized by a lack of harmony, continuity and symmetry in architectural design. Dame Zaha Hadid was a prominent figure uh, in, in the movement and her concept focused on uh, ideas like fragmentation and explosion to create designs that had that controlled chaos aesthetic. Hadid was influenced by Malevich and believed that the dire economic situation of the 1970s fueled this ambition in artists and architects uh, to apply radical ideas to design to regenerate society. She often used painting as a design tool, studying Malevich's work to develop abstraction as an investigative principle. An example of this approach is the Vitrofire station in Germany, built in 1993. 
Structurally, the building features concrete walls and pitch roofs that convey a strong sense of dynamism. Before we carry on, I have a favor to ask. If you like the content of this video, uh, make sure you hit the like and subscribe buttons. This will help the channel get discovered and more people having access to this information. Thank you very much. How I applied this to studio design. I was very inspired by Zaha Hadid's approach and simply decided to experiment with the same approach in one of my projects. The first thing that I did was that I analyzed Zaha Hadid's technique and used the Vitra fire station as a methodology precedent. When presenting precedents, it's very important to show the jury how you analyze them and how you drew uh, conclusions from them that you then applied to your own project. Then I picked a painting from a French artist that I had seen in an exhibition in a museum in Rabat. And then, much like Zahadid, I explored shapes and movement through painting work of my own. I then developed the design by integrating the programmatic needs of the project and a balance of composition. And there you have it. I will leave a link down below uh, so that you can download this project and you can download also the essay uh, that goes with it about architecture and fine arts. If you like this video, uh, then you might also want to uh, check out this video right here, where I talk about uh, the one of the most asked questions on the ARB website, and that is what do the examiners mean by cultural context? I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I surely enjoyed making it, uh, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.